let's talk about something that I, I think we need to approach at this point. And it sounds crazy, but I'm going to tell you that it's real. Um, Mike McDaniel is underachieving. Those are the facts. He's underachieving because he doesn't know how to prepare a football team week in and week out. And on the road, he shits in his pants. He's constantly not ready. Getting, you know, like last, like yesterday, you're down right away. And now you need a, a miracle second half to get back into it. And these are the things that are unacceptable for a head coach. Your team, you know, I, I can blame specifically Tyreek Hill for this loss all by himself. Tyreek Hill lost this game all by himself. No one else to blame but Tyreek Hill. The only, listen, the only difference in this game was Tyreek Hill's mistake. That's it. And he had two monster drops in this game. But my problem with all of this is Tyreek Hill screwing it up. Connor Williams screwing it up. Tua screwing it up. Cedric Wilson screwing it up. Offensive linemen are screwing it up. Defensive players are screwing it up. We have penalties all over the place. Penalties constantly calling back plays. This team is not prepared on a consistent basis. And when they go on the road, they are a completely different team. And that's Mike McDaniel's job. What happened in Buffalo, you had to learn from it last year. You didn't learn a goddamn thing, dude. Your team continues to make the same mistakes over and over again. And you still have a problem getting in the goddamn plays. So let's be super clear here on what's going on. Mike McDaniel is not organized enough. His team is not disciplined enough. And this is why you are constantly making mistakes. Coach, players, whatever, dude. A couple of weeks ago, he won a challenge because of the incompetence of his special teams coach. Because a guy was running off the field and the referees immediately threw a flag thinking there were 12 men and the idiot had his 11th man running off the field. So when McDaniel challenged it, well, wow, he won a challenge by incompetence. He won a challenge by his own incompetence. He kept that coach. That coach has not made a goddamn bit of difference this year. Danny Crossman had no reason to have a job here. None whatsoever. He was the worst coach on that staff last year. It was not Josh Boyer. It was Danny Crossman by miles. Everything around Mike McDaniel, there isn't discipline. So for the time being, my problem is Chris Greer and company gave them more than enough talent to win, to win even more than six and three and to win games against Kansas City that he should have won yesterday. But his players were unprepared. And sure, I can lay it all on Tyreek if I want. And I should, because Tyreek Hill alone lost that game all by himself. He lost that game. But there were a slew of other mistakes that were made. And I got up and and when I'm watching these mistakes on a consistent basis. When I'm watching that you're constantly unprepared in big games, 
on a consistent basis, when I see that you still abandon the running game when it's working on a consistent basis, I thought this was over last year, and you are st you're still doing it this year. You've done it already several times this year and yesterday. At the end of the game, Mostert is gouging them, and you go and outthink yourself. And the Ahmed play, I like Ahmed, but it seems lately the way you're using him, it kind of gets snuffed out right away, and you keep going back to the same stupid play. So if anything is going on here at six and three, Mike McDaniel is an underachiever. Everything that's going on falls under Mike McDaniel. This is not me getting off his bandwagon. I like Mike McDaniel. He has shown me more than any coach, including Jimmy Johnson. So I am willing to hang in there and grow with the man, but I'm not going to give him any breaks. None. Nobody gets breaks on this show. Not a goddamn person gets breaks on this show. No one. Okay? Nobody. We call it like we see it. Mike McDaniel is the guy that is effing everything up right now. His defensive coordinator came through like a stud yesterday. He handed him everything he needed to, to get that win on a plate. And McDaniel and his offensive players failed miserably. And his offensive play calling, while he's a genius in, de in designing plays, the way he structures it consistently is to inconsistent so i don't know what's going on with scatterbrain but scatterbrain i don't care how smart he is he has brain farts on a consistent basis you know it's the smart guy it's the robert Kraft who must be really smart in business as a billionaire but yet you're going to go to an Asian day spa, you stupid mofo. So I don't care how smart Mark, Mike McDaniel is. He is incredibly stupid at times during a game. Because it doesn't matter how smart you are. The smartest people do stupid things. And Mike McDaniel, who's incredibly smart, Smarter than Jimmy Johnson, Wanstead, Gase, all of these guys combined. He's smarter than all of these clowns that we've had for the last 25 years. And I'm throwing in Jimmy Johnson, who's a complete clown. Okay? All he did was draft a defense. He couldn't coach shit. He was a freaking loser here. 62-7 and what he did to Marino. Get the hell out of my face. Mike McDaniel's better than all these clowns we've had here for 25 years. But he's got a lot of growing up to do, and he better figure it out in the next year or two. Because this team is too talented to continue to screw it up. And that's what Mike McDaniel's doing. He is screwing it up. He outthinks himself.